Hey guys, I need to jump in here real quick uh, before I start this video. This video jumps around a little bit and that's because basically the last three days I turned into two videos, but because of the way the days didn't really go about it, it really kind of messed up the videos a little bit. So I tried to put together the best video that I could for you guys. I uh, maybe would have scrapped the video because I don't like bringing out the videos that kind of just jump around a little bit more than I want them to. That way you guys can watch a kind of a consistent quality video when you guys come to the channel. But with that being said, it was also the first start of planting, so I did not want to scrap those for you guys. So bear with me. They jump around a little bit. We plant my show plot, we plant some more acres, and we end up planting until uh, pretty much we run out of dirt. That's dry enough to plant. We've gotten rain, we're rained out now. That being said, that means that planting vlog has now started. So that means the videos will be a little bit different, a little more vlog style, which might be able to cut down on the amount of editing time that it takes to release a video, and then also bring you guys more videos, hopefully. So as we dive into the video here tonight, hopefully you enjoy it. Hit the thumbs up button if you have, haven't, or have, or hit the thumb. Subscribe to the channel if you're going to enjoy the planting vlog style deal. Lots of videos, hopefully great content. Let's get into it. Andrew's out here doing a little vertical tillage. We usually do not do tillage in front of our soybeans. Uh, this is the field that the April 2nd corn was planted in. Weeds came into this corn in between the hail damage, early harvest, I I'm really not sure. So Andrew's doing a tillage pass on it to try and get the weeds out of it. Hopefully get some of this dirt warmed up because I'm hoping I can get some acres in for the rain that's supposed to come tomorrow morning. I ain't overly impressed with the job that it's doing. See, this is what it should look like. You should be able to see the ripples from the rolling basket. Anyways, let's uh, head out to go get the bean planter ready to go. Oh. You gotta put a monitor in here still. This entire field's the same. It's a three, four soybean supposed to have the best emergence for um, for rough conditions and we, we got we're playing in the rough conditions and we got rough conditions coming so I'm sorry I actually didn't film any of this but I got two of my test strips in there uh, already so that's why I'm sticking with this soybean here today but we'll fill in this spot right there with the treatment that's going to be in the rest of the field did it the same population as these three so we have one treatment check, another treatment check, and an untreated check. And over here, filling out the rest of the plot will be pretty much uh, population changes. And then the rest of the field will be the rest of the field. There you can actually see where some tile runs are. I'll tell you, it's a lot drier right there too. First real fill up, fill up? Real fill up, poke myself not, of the year. Man, the myth, the legend's back at it. He probably has no clue that I'm about to pass him either. It'll probably scare him. He's just looking at the pond. Let's see what he realizes when I'm here. And he did. So this is a mechanical drive planner. Drive, driven change the sprockets, change the population. There's a half rate kit on this, which means that in the population chart book, it's planting half of it. Realistically, It's wet. Worst part is, is that actually most of it's okay. It's just when I go down into the slough or the bottom of the hill, it wants to kick up mud and it starts to pack in places. Like this. And it, this last pass on the soybean plot. And then we're back into the drier stuff. 
And look, the sun's finally showing itself. You can see those strips of cereal rye and how they're going uh, on each side of the row units out there. So I am planting directly in between the cereal rye right now. Right down the rows. It's working. Oh, if I was to give it a grade, probably B. B. Yep, B, probably. How it's going to turn out, I'm not sure, but it's, it's planting. Tires uh, couldn't pull me up the hill, so we we gotta go down the hill on this one. The old tire tires on the 8110 are showing a little bit of weakness here today. They filled up and just spun me out. Now, granted, that is quite steep. We'll get her. I do have a patch out in here that I do not have any cereal rye in to kind of check out. I can't tell if it was drier or not. I was just wondering. The ground with the cereal rye would be drier. I can't tell, but it's it is what it is. It's um, it's April 27th at 5:54 p.m. Um, we're on the board. We've got something planted. Planting stash can start, and it's gonna look like a balding caterpillar by the end. Of we're done. It worked out pretty good. You can tell. I was in between the rows of the cereal rye. For the most part here honestly if it looked like it was going to be nicer for the next few days i probably would have waited but tomorrow morning uh we got rain friday got rain saturday got rain cloudy uh, sunday and monday and then rain again wednesday and thursday of next week we're going back into a wet spell here had to plant that green knoll over there behind me too that's where the ceremony is going to be this year so uh, those are probably the most important acres that we got planted today <laughs> Oh, he might be calling our quits for the day. Yew. Andrew and I went until about 3.30, I guess, this morning. Uh, I didn't GoPro it because GoPros are horrible in the dark. And it would have been me listening to a Jocko podcast from nine till whenever i don't know whenever i left you guys there's supposed to be rain this morning no rain it got pushed until the night good thing not going to complain about that so we made the call to quit otherwise i probably would have came over i don't know it was very on the bubble coming over and trying to get this done if you guys followed me on instagram you guys posted some stories of things and kind of how the night went the balding caterpillar has made its appearance quad tracks not hooked to anything but that could change here today yesterday i didn't even talk about it bad blue a main hydraulic hose on the 9400 like maybe they're coming to fix that this morning here's one of the fields i planted last night with that kinsey planter i'm surprised these seeds aren't even up out of the ground yet i mean you'd think they'd be growing already there's where we're at boom that guy's swollen already that guy's swollen already holy smokes yeah you can tell planting conditions aren't great and you might be thinking sitting there why are you doing that why are you going why are you trying to do this it's like well my opinion and warning stating an opinion is that soybeans are soybeans get them in the ground uh the earlier you get them in the better yield potential i believe that you have the better yield potential that you have the other thing is, is that we've got a replant policy. So we bought up some replant insurance. And um, if places don't come up when it's soybeans, you just go out and plant more soybeans in in patches. If you got a bad stand on corn, you gotta rip the whole thing up. Soybeans, heck, just plant right through the soybeans. You wanna add 50,000, plant, you set your planter to 50,000, go start planting again, you know? And then on the flip side, there's our forecast. 
Right there. Here in about two weeks, we might be begging for conditions like this. You never know. So these plots are actually really easy for me to do. I just changed the product name, keeps track of it for me, and then when I come in here, harvest it this year, this will be in the combine, which will make it really easy to collect the data. It will tell me, give me a readout basically saying, uh, product this did this, product this did this, and you'll be able to see which ones perform better. You can scale it if you wanted to. If you want to get super accurate, um, this to me is like the silent payback of technology so that you're not spending a bunch of money on uh, snake oils or anything like that that you can actually prove things that are working versus just having a gut feeling about oh i think that's the best thing to do you can know what the best thing to do is but it always changes <laughs> oh yeah and i uh, picked up another dog right Bearings out on a spike. Uh, that one. There it is. Watch out for those washers. Got them? So I finished the other 80 acre field up the road here. Um, that is the dirt that my dad tilled yesterday. If it was all that color, we'd be planting it here tonight. This is what my dad tilled here. I'm always finishing, he's coming up and around the corner. Could have gotten it planted tonight, but it won't plant. Too wet. Too wet. And then also, I think all the, and I don't know, we got like two hours until sunset. So I can move to a no-till field, uh, but it's borderline ready to go now. And as soon as the sun comes down, the moisture will work its way up on that. Unfortunately, Molly showed up, brought me dinner, which is not the unfortunate part, but uh, we were gonna do a live. So I guess the planting lives will have to wait. Here comes dad. Sorry guys. Molly, you want to say anything? No. Um, put me on the spot. <laughs> no. See you in the next one. I missed. The number of dogs in this operation are starting to outnumber the humans. Getting there somewhere. <laughs> 